Malachi 2. And now this admonition is for you, O priest. If you do not listen, and if, I, and if you do not set your heart to honor my name, says the Lord Almighty, I will send a curse upon you, and I will curse your blessings. Yes, I have already cursed them, because you have not set your heart to honor me. Because of you, I will rebuke your descendants. I will spread on your faces the orphal from your festival sacrifices, and you will be carried off with it. And you will know that I have sent you this uh, admonition so that my covenant with the Levi with Levi w may continue, says the Lord Almighty. My covenant was with him a covenant of life and peace, and I gave them to him. This called for reverence, and he revered me, and stood in awe of my name. True instruction was in his mouth, and nothing false was found on his lips. He walked with me in peace and uprightness, and turned my many and turned many from sin for the for the lips of a priest ought to preserve knowledge and from his mouth men should seek instruction because he is the messenger of the Lord Almighty but you have turned from the way, and by your teaching have caused many to stumble. You have violated the covenant with Levi, says the Lord Almighty. So I have caused you to despise and humiliate. I. So I have caused you to be despised and humiliated before all the people because you have not followed my ways but have shown partiality in matters of the law. Have we not all one Father? Did not one God create us? Why do you profane the covenant of your fathers by breaking faith with, with one another. Judah has broken faith. A detestable thing has been committed in Israel and in Jerusalem. Judah has desecrated the sanctuary the Lord loves by marrying the daughter of of a foreign god as for the men who does who does this whoever he may be may the lord cut him off from the tent of jacob even though he brings offerings to the almighty another thing you do you flood the Lord's altar with tears. You weep and wail because he no longer pays attention to your offerings or accepts them with pleasure from your hands. You ask why? Is it because the Lord is acting as the witness between you and the wife of your youth? Because you have broken faith 
with her, though she is your partner, the wife of your marriage covenant? Has not the Lord made the, them one in flesh and spirit? They are his. And why and why one? Because he seeks godly offspring. So guard yourself in your spirit and do not break faith with the wife of your youth. I hate divorce, says the Lord God of Israel. I hate a man's covering himself with violence as well as with his garment, says the Lord Almighty. So guard yourself in your spirit and do not break faith. You have wearied the Lord with your words. How have you wearied him, you ask? By saying, all who do evil are good in the eyes of the Lord, and he is pleased with them. Or where is, where is the God of justice?